you say yes, Miss Moffat, or no, Miss Moffat. M O F F A T. The corn is green. It takes place in a rural village in in Wales, um, set at kind of the turn of the 20th century, end of the 19th century, um, and it's really about um, this English woman who's a teacher. Who, dis who moves to Wales uh, to a community of, mi uh, of minors um, and uh, decides to start a school uh, for the children of the village to learn to read and write. She finds this young boy called Morgan Evans who is just extraordinarily gifted and she helps him and guides him and fosters him and teaches him. What sort of a man was your father? The Corn is Green um, is written by Emlyn Williams, who uh, was my godfather. And um, Emlyn Williams was a great Welsh writer. He wrote uh, a lot of plays, but he also was a film director, and he wrote films, and he was a great actor as well. In fact, he was the original Morgan Evans. Me and my mother are in the show together, which is very exciting. My character is a young Welshman um, who is a minor, and he, uh, his whole family has passed away. His mother has died and his father and his three older brothers died in a, an accident uh, mining. And he lives in this uh, village uh, called Glossarno and he shows great talent uh, as a writer uh, but doesn't know it uh, and isn't aware that he's a, a bright young man until he meets this lovely uh, teacher, Miss Moffat, who's played by my mother and she sort of teases out of him this, this ability that he has. You want to get more clever still. Emlyn figures hugely in my life. Obviously, he's my godfather. But the reason he's my godfather is because he made a movie in the 40s called The Last Days of Dalwyn. And my father, Richard Burton, played the young male um, ingenue lead. And my mother, Sybil Williams, uh, was one of the extras. And my parents met on that movie. And so, um, as a result, I, I'm sitting here now. Something that I actually just recently found out that I didn't know is that my grandmother played uh, Bessie Waddy. I believe my grandfather did like a radio play reading of it, of the show, of my part. It also is resonant for me um, because my fa it's really also my father's story. My father also had a fantastic teacher called Philip Burton who brought him out of the valleys of South Wales and helped him. Um, become educated and helped him get into Oxford. Can you come tomorrow? Tomorrow? Uh, no, I am working on the six till four shift. So I'm back in Boston with Nicholas Martin, and uh, we've. This is my third show uh, with him. The last one with his Cherry Orchard uh, two years ago, and then I did Head a Gabbler with him. Both were incredibly amazing experiences, and I've worked with him a lot in between those times as well. He's probably my. Um, most significant um, artistic collaborator. We are very blessed uh, to have in our production um, a wonderful Boston actor, Will LeBeau, who I've appeared with before in The Cherry Orchard. He played Lopachin when I played Renievskaya. Uh, also, Christine Nielsen, who's a fantastic actress, um, is playing Mrs. Watty, uh, the Cockney housekeeper, and her daughter. Bessie Watty, who's our little fly in the ointment, uh, she is being played by Mary Faber, and a, just a fantastic cast. Do you go to chapel? No, thank you. Who taught you to read and write? And the show is, is really about education um, and about community and about uh, a, a community that is adverse to an outsider coming in, learning how to accept this person and um, integrate them into their lifestyle and it's really about the power of learning. There's uh, fantastic themes, universal themes of, you know, salvation and redemption and uh, the importance of uh, letting people be who they are and uh, not trying to force somebody to be something that they're not. And um, what's amazing about the show is it has a, 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 a well-worn uh, story, but it's told in an extremely fresh way. But it's just a wonderful, wonderful, heartwarming story. It's really... Um, a story for almost the whole family. Oh.